for the most part, I know this world from standing on its surface. I mean, I've been up to the top of the Empire State Building, I put my quarter in the scope, and I've even jumped out of planes a couple times. But that's nothing. The International Space Station clocks in at one million feet. Whenever there's a free moment on the spaceship, we try and get to the window to take pictures. And during my three space flights, I took about 45,000 photographs. And some parts of the world are easy to take pictures of, like the outback of Australia. It's always a sunny day there. But there are parts of the world that you almost never get a good picture of. One of those is the Amazon basin. So it makes you think, what's going on down there? For the last 10 years, Rosa has been working in the Amazon, uncovering the surprising way the rainforest helps the whole planet breathe. Nós estamos introduzindo instrumentos de medição muito sensíveis e instalando em algo muito especial. She's not kidding about special. This is the tallest structure in all South America. Rosa has tried to climb this tower twice before, but she's never made it to the top. Da primeira vez, teve uma tempestade, daí eu tive de voltar. E da segunda vez, as minhas pernas não aguentaram. <risos> Dessa vez, eu estou determinada a conseguir. Now that's a pretty cool climb, but something else is rising too. If you could look inside the trees, you'd see water sucked up from the forest floor.
When the water hits the top, the combination of sun and wind turns it into a mighty river, a flying river. Com essa torre agora, podemos medir a real dimensão desse rio voador. Se fosse um rio normal, esse seria o maior rio do planeta. Ainda maior que o rio Amazonas que está ali. 